darn swell, if you ask me. Well, Pat, so do you. Thank you very much. Did you learn anything from that etiquette uh, demonstration? I did almost everything Louie did at <laughs> <laughs> different times in my life. Yeah, that's that okay. was pretty tricky. Yeah, it is. It's tough. You've got to pay attention. You know, I've met your father, who is uh, who's Dick Wilson, right. who, who is better known as... Mr. Whipple. Mr. Whipple. The old, please don't squeeze the shot. Yeah, a wonderful guy. You can all do that with me now, right? <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been doing that? 25 years. My guess is when you're a child growing up and, you, and your dad's uh, hawking toilet paper on television Honey, that... Honey, it uh... is not an easy life. <laughs> no, no. Yeah? No, you know, when you're 13 and you want to be really anonymous and blend into the woodwork, <laughs> Mr. Whipple is not the father to have. <laughs> no, so... Yeah. And then before that, he w played a drunk, didn't he? On Absolutely. Other? He was on Bewitched for many years, and he played the drunk on Bewitched, <laughs> so... <laughs> I had no chance, did I? Yeah. Um, basically, whenever Darren and Samantha got in a fight, my father was the drunk at the bar. Darren would go to the bar, and my poor inebriated father had to watch Samantha popping in and out. And um, we were really thrilled that Dad was a drunk and doing so beautifully. Sure. And so my first... <laughs> it's one of those things. Yeah. Um, but when I started school, our first day of elementary school, the teacher had all the kids stand up and say what their parents did for a living. So one little boy stood up and said, well, my dad's a doctor. One little girl stood up and said, well, my dad's a dentist. And I stood up and I said, my dad's a drunk. <laughs> well, they, they had yeah. a meeting with the principal because they thought, poor little Melanie Wilson, her father is a drunk. And... Yeah, but... Uh, She's proud of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's strange. It was uh, a sick world, wasn't it? Now, your mother performs... Too, or my, my mother was um, and still is a fabulous tap dancer. She did the Sullivan show like six times as a solo so dancer. So was it just preordained that you were going to be, uh, that uh, show business would be your life, think, to coin a phrase? Yeah, so to speak. In fact, I think everything led right up to this moment. <laughs> this is just, kind of a culmination of a career, isn't I, it? That's the way I look at it. Yeah. It can end now and I'm, I'm a happy woman. Well, that's the way I feel too. <laughs> This is nothing that therapy won't cure. We Thank can you very much. We can talk about this later. Uh, now, you are a uh, stewardess on this, on this Perfect Strangers uh, yes. show here. And, uh, but, but you are not uh, true the world's greatest uh, flyer? No, I'm, I'm absolutely terrified of flying. So I finally decided, you know, I have to fly a lot. And I took a class to get over my fear of flying. Oh, you mean like phobic dimensions here? I, talking serious fear. Major yeah. phobic dimensions. Just, it gets ugly. So I thought, I'll go ahead and take a class to get over my fear of flying. So it was taught by a retired airline pilot, and there were about 50 students. First night of class, we're sitting in class. He's holding a model of a DC-10, explaining the properties of air to a plane or like water to a boat. Mm -hmm. And as he's moving this model around, he lost his grip of the plane. It flew across the room, <laughs> crashed into the blackboard, and broke into four pieces on the floor. <laughs> Half the class got up and walked out. Yeah, so yeah. that's well, it. I would think so. And that's it. Now, are you any better at flying now? Did that help you that... Uh... Uh, once you got over the... the it, it helped a little bit. Yeah. I took a graduation flight to Vegas, and they said, well, let's go gambling. And I said, the flight was the gamble. I'm going to have a massage and come home. Forget it. <laughs> do so. you, uh, are you a white knuckler now? Or do you yeah, do I, don't, I don't do well. I like to hold on to the seat in front of me. Yeah. And, well, um, might people might be point pleasurable and, for someone. <laughs> well, I don't know. People point and <laughs> laugh a lot. And, but heck, I'm used to it. So yeah, why not? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, so, What's that, sir? Hypnotism. Is it true? Hypnotism yeah. would be good. You want to try that? People, yeah, I know people have done that. Right. Well, I did that for dieting. Really? Yeah, you really? I did that. that for, it helped for a while, but you have to keep going, so. So you have to be like in a trance your, yeah, the you rest of your life? And, no, but I mean, you have to go all the time. But I've known a couple of people who did the flying thing who were terrified. Mm -hmm. Is there a hypnotist in the house? No. I'll do it now. No, I no, really... no. Trust me, don't let Louie hypnotize you. That's my, <laughs> that's my no, advice. Suppo you know, originally, do you know the story about the perfect strangers? That originally I did the pilot. Bronson Pinchot and me, and they hated me. <laughs> and, oh, Louie, Oh, it's no. okay, because uh, I wouldn't want to be on true? the show, but... Uh, <laughs> be on that show. I mean, you know, it's good. It worked out for the better yeah. for me. Now, my I... show's going to be opposite that show. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I like you on the show, but really, both of them are <laughs> boring. But Louie, no, Louie, come Louie. On. All right, now, now they're not. They're fine, they're funny they're fellows. Is it, is, it a, uh, is it a fun a place to uh, spend your day? I love working there. Oh, I, sure. Really? I, come on. Oh, come on. Get... No, I do. I do. I love it. Yeah. The boys are wonderful. They're the great boys? to work with. Yeah, oh, that's the nice. boys. Bronson and Mark, Mark and Bronson. Aww. Yeah, yeah, my buddies. The guys they're, my spot. they're, 
Louis, I'm okay, so sorry. No, I had no you. idea. You were great on I, do, I somehow feel responsible. Oh, no, don't. I, I, I'm not bitter <laughs> about it. So it's it, rumored we'll get through this, Pat. Is no, it no, 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 no. I, I have my doubts. Yes. Right now. It's, it's okay. Uh, but uh, joking, laughing, uh, practical joking, jokes. Fun. Not a lot of practical jokes. Well, they're serious actors, aren't they? They're very serious. Oh, but you're not. You're a serious actor. They're, I've been serious in my time. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now you're tight. Now you originally you were just going to be a guest uh, star for a couple. I of weeks. came in to do one episode, and um, at the end of that first week, it just the rapport with the with Mark and Bronson was the just boys. so wonderful. I did want to say the boys, and then I felt that I should oh. edit myself. Oh, go ahead. All, All right. right. Go ahead. My rapport with the boys. Yeah, and now yes. you're there forever, huh? I'm just, yes, until the end of my natural life, or unnatural <laughs> life, depending on the well, stories it's a, it's I tell a, here. It's quite a good show, no matter what Anderson says. No, it's and, a good and, show. Uh, and it would have been a lot different show with you on it. it would, uh, but, but I would have been your girlfriend. Great. Hey, Louie. <laughs> you could practice, uh, I could fly you around the room. I could well, you spin you. <laughs> Only if I'm hypnotized first. <laughs> okay. Melanie, I'm going to do you a favor. We're going to go to commercial. What do you think about that? God bless you, my child. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Melanie Wilson, nice having you here. Thanks Thank very much. Uh, stay right there, please. We'll take a break and we'll be right back. Continued success on that fine show. It's a great yeah. show. Yes, it is. And our thanks, too, to March Bell Stewart. Uh, thank you. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I hope you come back, and, and, and we're making progress, don't you think? I think so, and thank you for inviting and me. How did, and now, honestly, was Louis, does Louis have hope? No, he really does. He handled the tools. So he must have had a lovely upbringing. I bet you had a lovely mom. My mom is great, yeah. Yes, yes, he does. He has natural... My dad was natural, uh, I can. I can work with <laughs> Las Vegas. Las ahead. Vegas. Come and see the show. Natalie Cole and me at the Las Vegas Hilton. Exciting. It is a fun show. Very funny, Louis. Thanks. Thank again. you. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Uh, and uh, we also want to thank uh, Lee Horsley for being here. Boy meets girl. And of course, uh, Tom Scott and the band. Dan, you have anything to? No. Uh, have a good weekend. That's it. That's it. Oh, Jeez, that's nothing good. more to say. Kind of a nice <laughs> way to go out. Uh, let's see.